Oh, namaste, namaste. How wonderful to hear you sounding the trumpet and sending your love vibrations this way towards me. I was carried up into the clouds, and I, I saw my wife on Venus, and she said, Now remember, Roger, don't let your ears get too big and fluffy. <laughs> Oh, precious, well, precious. if your ears get as big as your heart, you can fold them up around I you and sleep. I was going to say, I'll let, you, I'll let those beautiful ears wrap around my heart anytime. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love the both of you two so much. You know that we do. Yes. Thank you. We do. Indeed. We do. And I just, you know, it's such an honor to have you here and to be able to to let the world really connect with your presence on so many levels. I know that all of you listening right now are connecting in, in every level possible. And the energy is so high right now that I think every ounce of my aura and my frame is tingling. And I get oh, to watch. You, you two have become a, a tremendously wonderful polished couple, so very articulate and wonderful at what you're doing. And I also remember so very, very well when Moira and I first met you. And I'm so happy that you, you talked to us as, as if we're both still active and working here because we are. And it's so wonderful that you can see that. And that's how we were taken with you when we first came across you in Miami, as I told you, when we were fortunate enough to talk with you after your beautiful presentation, that we had actually been following you for quite some time in your work there in New Mexico because, well, quite frankly, you came right after we were there, paving the yes. way, <laughs> turning all the rocks <laughs> out, and working so hard in the trenches and, and the mountains of very little, I felt. And then all of a sudden, this wonderful couple comes into the area. Boom, presto, everything falls into place, and everybody's wanting to hear the great high wisdom. I thought, well, what happened to us? <laughs> All we can do is pitch the forks and the hose and barely check the rocks. But your work was so wonderful, and I know well received. And we were reading it and discovering it and thought, wow, it is very high and blessed energy, and especially from the archangel Zadkael. And I thought, this is nowhere seen before on the planet. How wonderful that we had the opportunity to perhaps make room for these wonderful, and as your title says, the mystical couple of our time, wisdom teacher, Sri Ramka, and angelic oracle, Kirara. And so we were honored at that time. You know, if I might say, and if I say it very humbly, and... and um, truly meaning it humbly, in our own way, we, Moira and I, too, were the mystical couple of our time. Oh. And we, <laughs> no, we were. Oh. We were on the radio, on the TV, everywhere we went, we felt that way. And yes, there, yes. Were only, there were other mystical couples, but we felt like we really had done that, and then when you came into the room and when you began your work and you were looking up all over at the, the room, at the top of the room, we thought, oh, they're looking at the angels. They see the other beings. It, ah, it was such a wonderful display of, of the truth and the light that you represent. And then, of course, shortly after, Moira left the planet. And now, indeed, we, we feel like we're honored that there are couples, twin flames, who have this wisdom and this love so balanced in the ma masculine and the feminine and carrying on the work, and doing great work. And yes, Moira and I, Moira's working on the other planes on Venus, but we know that on this great work that we're doing, how wonderful that there are beings alive and in the body and on the earth who are walking their walk. Talking well, thank you. Walk. You know, it's a family is family, and that's, that's just the way it is. And thank you for your delightful heart-centered mirroring. Uh, he made and, me cry. I'm just sitting here crying, Ra. I can't even talk right now because without you and Moira, people like Sri and I would not be. That's just the truth. And and it's such an honor and a blessing. And really, I'm crying. I can't even talk yeah, right now. So thank you for doing your part and continuing to expand what that looks like because truly... Uh, 
in your work and in your um, uh, messages that you're publishing, uh, people are getting a glimpse that, that the universe is far more benevolent and eternal than they may have realized. And you have, you know, you have walked the walk for so many years. I mean, I'm sure we could do a hundred shows on your stories, but one of the things I want to mention is that you also came to Guatemala. I mean, Sri and I are, you know, you were talking about New Mexico and now, and now here Sri and I are in Guatemala, but you (laughs) came to Guatemala during the civil war and you have quite a fascinating story around that. Do you want to share any around that? The civil, the American civil war? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> no, the Guatemalan Civil War, my love. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's not you. Dear, I'm sorry. Does that mean it's over? Well, you know, they say it is. Oh, I'm, I'm glad to hear that. Yes, it was during the Civil War. And I was told not to go in there, that I would surely be killed. And I thought, well, of course, if I was really frightened, I wouldn't go somewhere. But I had no fear because I was told by the Holy Spirit that I had to go there. I don't remember exactly why now at the moment, but having traveled all throughout Mexico, I was told that the real high energy, just like after traveling through India, you're told you must go to Tibet because that's where the real high energy is, was in uh, Guatemala across the border by Lake Atitlan that had a magical energy. Yes, had a magic where well, I know you're situated right at right now in a beautiful retreat site. And then underneath that beautiful Lake Atitlan is the real alive entrance to the higher planets and the inner earth through that lake. Mm -hmm. And just being able to meditate there by beautiful hot springs will bring great enlightenment. So off I went. (laughs) And I loved it. And I went there to um, uh, Anahachel. And that's where I really was touched by the true heart and the true loving spirit of the Mayan people. That's what mm. touched me the most, was how yeah. loving the women were there, and, and, and the energy of the Mayans was still there. And I did receive a lot of lore and information, and I did make it to the beautiful hot springs, and it was so lovely. And I almost got, that was, as you said, back in the Civil War, but during the 12-12-12, I was in, in uh, Yucatan and Chiapas for um, a whole month, and I almost made it back to Guatemala. I was almost in the car heading that way. I said, I know where I'm going if I get up in there, but I didn't make it. (laughs) Well, that time will come for sure, and I just want to thank you again because I don't find it to be any accident that Sri and I wound up here and that 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 this was also a place that had been touched by your divinity and your ability to open up. And so in so many ways, you are such a a trailblazer and and such a crystalline being that leaves these seeds of light. And it's just an honor to be in your footsteps. Well, I thank you so much. And from what I understand, you're right near that hot springs. Is that right? We are. We are very blessed to be very much near that. And the Crystalline City of the Ascended Masters has come forward. There's been uh, a lot of magic there. And you know, Ross, speaking of magic, it looks like we have a bunch of people that really want to say hello. Well, we do. Uh, One of the delights that uh, we enjoy uh, is the, the ability to connect with callers. And why don't we move to the phone lines? Uh, we'll start off on line three, saying hi to Angie from California. Well, namaste, Angie. Welcome to the show. Is that right? We are. We are very blessed to be very much near that. And the crystal... Oh, we had a little delay there. There's been uh, a lot of magic there. And you know, Ross... Hello. Hello. Okay, Hello. Doug. Well, hi, so, Angie. Uh, one of the delights that uh, we enjoy... Uh, in- so uh, we may have to turn off line three, Doug, and come back to that. Is Angie there, or are we just looping with the time delay? All right. Well, we'll let's see if we can go to line two and say hello to Debbie from New York. Hi, Debbie. Namaste. Welcome to the show. Hi. Thank you so much. I feel so blessed to be talking to you. Well, welcome. How may we help you today? Um, I would just be so happy to get a mini soul reading from you. It's just been, there's just, I don't know, it just, 
it just seems like there's so much possibility in the world right now, but there's, but I also, I, there's, I've been dealing with a lot of limitations, too, and I would yeah. feel so blessed to um, hear from you. Well, I don't think that it's any surprise that you got through today, Debbie. I really don't. I think that it's a perfect day for you because part of what I'm seeing in you is that it's like your your the way the words they're using me so I, I just have to give you the words that are being given to me right now through the archangelic realm and they're saying that you are literally at the moment of marrying your wisdom meaning that there's this deeper piece of you that you know is there that you're listening to yet there's this this energy of I can't trust this and that it's important for you right now to take and especially this week you know this is such a powerful week this is the week of fire this is the week of the third chakra. So I want you to bring your hands to your third chakra. And if it's safe to close your eyes, I want you to do that. And they're saying with the sunrise shall come the response. And what they want you to do is breathe in deeply into your third chakra and feel the sacred flame, feel a sacred violet flame igniting there, purging out all doubt and allowing yourself to have a sunrise of your own unified stream of energy. They're saying that everything is laid out, everything is ready to go, and that the only thing that's stopping right now is just this little last piece of, and the word they keep giving me is marrying the energy of, of before you, marrying the energy of you. So I want you to take in a deep breath, and really relax into that. And I also want to check in with Ra. And Ra, would you like to offer Debbie anything before we go to our next caller? Oh, I was just so enveloped in the blessing that was coming forth from you that I I felt, oh, this lady is so fortunate to receive this blessing at this time from the violet flame. And that's what we all need is to empower ourselves and to realize that the real fall that we had, that the Church talks about, is the fall from our light body, and that we have the ability to recharge ourselves and not just need priests and the seers and the oracles to do it. Thank God for them. But we as an empowered family can use that violet flame and remember what the teachers teach us and the elders and charge ourselves and never, not any moment, let fear or doubt step in our way. But mm-hmm. continue to charge ourselves with the mm-hmm. violet flame, the green mm-hmm. flame and the pink flame, the rose pink flame of forgiveness and love. How wonderful that you're doing this work. Mm. And so it is. And so, Debbie, I, I just invite you, sweetheart, to keep feeling into that third chakra keep breathing in this beautiful flame of transformation and smile. And they keep telling me with the sunrise, you will be clear. And so take the next day through tonight, keep working with that energy. And I want you to stay really focused on the fact that you are free. It is your moment and all is truly well. And I absolutely am grateful you called in today. We love you, sweetheart. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you, Angel. Many blessings. And Kira, let's, we have time to say hi to one more caller before our commercial break. And then we've got lots of things to do. We do. And have fun with. But uh-huh. before we do that, let's, uh, I love that we're going to head over to Hawaii. Let's do it. Line four and say hi to June. Namaste, June. Hey, aloha. <laughs> aloha. Welcome. Oh, my God, and a special blessing. Oh, my goodness. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. Um, I'm calling because um, I was I was guided to move here to Hawaii, and I've been here since August. And um, I feel like, well, I've been going through so many shifts and transitions, and um, I find myself overwhelmed and stressed out. Like, I'm, I'm always constantly stressed out. And I was just hoping to um, receive some guidance by you today, if that was possible. <laughs> It's absolutely my my angel. And first of all, just know how much I love you. I'm feeling your energy and you are such a blessing to the world. You are such a gift. Where where Thank where, you where so are much. you? You are welcome, Angel. Where are I'm where in Hawaii are you? I'm in Molokai. 
You are. Okay. Because I keep feeling like when I was, when you were talking, I was feeling into your energy field and not all of your chakras are aligned with where you are in Hawaii. There's, um, there's a Uh, movement energy in you right now, meaning that yes, you are definitely supposed to be there. No doubt about it. I mean, your, your heart sings there, your soul sings there, but you are, you are not creating in your fullness yet. And that's why you're feeling so stressed out. Right. And they're, they're telling me that you need to take your hands. Okay. And, and they're saying, go out to the beach, take your hands, dive them into the sand, bring them up and okay. rub them together like you're like you're clean and not water this is dry and then rub them together like okay. you're clearing the energy and then sit on the beach and hold your feet and as you do i'm crying angel they're saying cry release that which is holding uh. you and through your tears and the connection then let the water soothe you the stress will release the path will be clear the energy will be open and all will be revealed. And you are so loved, my angel. You have a huge mission ahead of you in 2015. It's all going to come together. I'm covered in chills sharing this with you. Just go give yourself (laughs) this energetic cleansing and the rest will unfold. Thank you so much. We love you, you, honey. We love you. Namaste. I love you guys so much. Thank you, honey. Oh, how beautiful indeed. You know, beloved listeners, we're going to take a little station break, Mm -hmm. and uh, when we come back from these messages, we're going to dive into a a conversation with our beautiful guest, uh, Dr. Raja Merk Dove. And so for the moment right now, we invite you to take a deep breath in, just be still, be happy, and listen to these messages. We'll be right back. 